Hello, this is the Roland TR808 drum machine or rhythm composer. Now this is a purely analog drum machine. All the sounds in it are made with just basic analog circuitry. Unfortunately, when this came out in 1980, there was the Lin LM1 drum machine that was available. And that sounded more like drums because it was a sampling drum machine. And at the time, people wanted the sound of real drums. And this just didn't quite do that. However, uh, a lot of people made this famous. Michael Jackson, Ryoichi Sakamoto, Orbital, uh, Norman Cook, who lives down the road. And uh, Marvin Gaye with Sexual Healing. Here's one I prepared earlier. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? I think so anyway. But uh, anyway, I've just found one of these on eBay for just over £4,000, which is about $6,000 or 5,300 euros. And uh, I can't afford one. So I'm really pleased that my friend has just lent me this so I can open it up and show you guys what's going off inside this analog drum machine. So I'll shut up and get it open. Now this one has got MIDI in and MIDI through and haven't got a clue what the red button is for. But of course this was designed before MIDI was available so this is uh, an added on kit. So I'm not sure exactly what the MIDI in does. Whether it's for clocking it or whether it's actually for controlling the sound on here. Haven't got a clue. I should have asked my friend about that but uh, I'll have a look anyway see what's inside there. It might be a Kenton MIDI thing of some sort. But uh, right, let's start unscrewing this. Right, I'm assuming that some of these screws are just for taking the side panels off. Uh, and some of them are for taking the top off. So if I take off these buttons first, oh, they're easy enough, they just pull off. So, ah, easy peasy. There's a hidden screw underneath there as well. But that's probably for the circuit board that's going to be underneath this top layer. So, hmm. They come off a little bit easily, they do. Okay. Try and remember where they're all going to point. Now, uh, these don't have to pull off because they're on pots that actually sit underneath it. And there's just holes there so that they stick through of course. There's a, a bolt on there that I'm going to have to undo. Just loosen it off. There's none on these two so whether there should have been when it was manufactured because somebody's been inside this already before me because of the MIDI convert converter on the side there. So, right, let's start undoing it. Let's check what's going on under there. There we go. Yes. It looks like this is actually going to the uh, trigger board. There's a, 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 a thin board that runs underneath the buttons uh, here. And that, that's a separate little board with a ribbon connector on it. And it looks like that is connected to these. So it's probably, the MIDI is probably triggering the actual different sounds. There's no plugs for the power supply or anything to just simply disconnect the power supply. Uh, the power supply switch, that is. But I can disconnect the outputs. There's plus minus 15 volts and 5 volts and God knows what coming out of here. Smells like 30 year old electronics. Very nice. You see what I mean about this? This is a a separate circuit board with the buttons on it. Now just for a moment I thought I'd found a fault. This variation button seems to be sticking off the circuit board there. But 
I've just realized it's been set like that on purpose. And if I'd have soldered that into place, then the top of the stalk here would not have worked properly. It's like almost like they didn't have the right button for the job there, so they used this and tilted it off to one side. This is a, a typical problem with a lot of these TR-808s, is that the caps break. And as you can see here, the plastic has broken off around the top of the cap there. And eventually what happens is these plastic inserts fall out and they disappear. And you've lost them. But there is a company that makes... Uh, which one is it? This one. Now that there is actually just a sticker. I am certainly not going to take these apart and clean these up because you would have to unsolder them from the board and physically take the whole thing apart just to clean the carbon track underneath there. But no, don't want to do that. Thank you very much. Okay, quick look at the chips if you must. Here are the JLC, uh, the Japan Radio Corporation. They're 4558, they're dual operational amplifiers. There's loads of those on this board all over the place. Uh, this is a 4011, that's just a two input NAND gate. Uh, this here is an analog multiplexer, which is basically a digitally controlled analog switch. Here is your memory, these D444Cs. They are 4K, uh, I think they're SRAM chips, 4K SRAM chips they are, yeah. Now this here is your brain basically and uh, these are also using the TL606 and I think I last saw one of these on eBay second hand for about 70 US dollars. So mm, very precious and very hard to get hold of these. But basically that is the sort of the brains of this drum machine there. So other than that, there's nothing else I can really show you about this uh, 808. Everything seems okay. A couple of scratchy pots, but I'm not going to dismantle all those to clean them up because I might create problems by doing that. Uh, yeah, so I've given it a little bit of a clean up, but it's only removing surface dust and that horrible sticky fluff that seems to appear everywhere. And I'll put it back together again and just give it a little test. Uh, I've got nothing else more to say about it other than what a fantastic design this is. Uh, it certainly stood the test of time, that's for sure. Right, I'm not absolutely sure where I had the instrument select button. But if you turn everything to the left and then slide on the controls then aha see that's wrong for start that was on this side wasn't it i don't know right volume button on there the fill in over the manual that one was to the left there just check Yeah, and I think I had the instrument select button on number one, but you can always test that anyway, just get it running and see what plays. But yeah, they're all in the correct places now, I assume. Power it up and have another go. That's all there is to see. I was just pleased to have a look inside it, and I think my friend is very brave to let me loan this to open it up. It's... Uh, uh, a nice piece of kit and I wish I'd have kept mine but never mind we all make mistakes well there you go that was just a little look inside the TR-808 nothing exciting but it's nice to see that beautiful 35 year old analog circuitry and uh, it's still working so yeah it's a good design thank you very much for watching all the best